Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install your plugins. So um, there's two types of plugin files. One is like Alien Skin, um, in which it's a setup file, so it pretty much installs itself. And the second type would be like VM Experimental, that it just has all the plugin files like this, so you have to install it yourself. So first I'm going to show you how to do the VM experimental. What you want to go ahead and do is open your documents folder. And you should have a folder called my PSP files. You go ahead and click on that. Then you want to go all the way down to where it says plugins. If you don't have this file, you want to create it. And open it and you can put you want to go ahead and put these files into that folder. Go ahead and you can cut it and paste it. You can drag and drop it, whatever you want. Okay? And that's it. That's all you have to do. It should already be installed and working. All right? Now, for a self-installation file like um, Alien Skin, you want to go ahead and open the notepad file which is the serial number and the name and then open run the setup so you're going to put your serial number here the name that comes in the notepad here and you can put here none or, or leave it blank and then next here, just leave it, let it install wherever it chooses to, and then just run the installation. Now, once it's fin finished installing, it should work just fine. In the case that you open up PSP and your alien skin doesn't show up, what you want to do is um, find the file, which would be in your C drive under program files you're going to find a file that says alien skin just click on that and well this doesn't have anything because I had to do that whatever you can copy this whole file actually or copy the files that are in here and paste them here which I did here Here's all my eye candies. I had to um, copy the file into here because it wasn't working that way. Okay, um, another thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have. Let me find them. There are two um, .dll files, which I have it here. These two files. Um, you can extract it to your systems folder. So what you want to do is just um, extract it to wherever. Okay. Then you want to go ahead and open your C drive. You go to Windows. And then go to your systems 32 file. That's if you use Vista. If you use anything other than Vista, like um, Windows XP or anything other than that you want to put it in your systems file if you use Vista in your systems 32 so I already have mine in here somewhere so what you want to do is just drag it and drop it in there which I can't right now just drag it and drop it I already have mine in there so I don't need to do that and that's about it all your plugins should work so if you have any questions um, just ask me and I'll, I'll try to help you as best as I can. So hopefully this helped you out. Bye.